Good afternoon, everyone. My name is David Target, and I'm one of the graduate assistants in the Office of KIPP Planning this school year. And I have with us today my fellow classmate, Matthew Royde. How are you today, Matt? I'm all right. How are you? I'm doing well. Good to see you, as always. Um, so in typical fashion, um, I was hoping you can just introduce yourself, give us a little bit about your background. Where are you from? How did you end up at St. John's? And what are you studying? Yeah, so I'm from California, specifically Sacramento. Um, and I came upon St. John's as well. One of those things when you take the SAT and then like colleges email you. Yeah. And so St. John's is one of them. And how I decided to go to St. John's is I knew I wanted to study something in the criminal field and I didn't want to do just criminal justice because I felt like I just wasn't, it didn't encompass a lot. And mm -hmm. so when I was researching schools and St. John's emailed me at research and I found out that they had a Homeland Security program and they, the, the program encompassed a lot that I thought I could do and they thought it could take me in a lot more different avenues than mm -hmm. criminal justice would. So I said, all right. And then plus um, I was grateful enough to get some scholarship money from St. John's. So oh. I figured it was the right fit. Awesome. Um, so you graduated last year with me. What was your uh, degree in? Uh, degree is in Homeland Security. Say it one more time. Homeland Security. Homeland Security. Yeah. And um, what are you going getting your master's in now? The master's degree is called Criminal Leadership and Homeland Security. So it comes awesome. a little bit. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so you, you've been at the school quite a long time now. Um, you're in your fifth year. Um, you spoke to me a little bit about your interactions with the alumni prior to this call. And I was hoping you can kind of just talk a little bit to that. Um, what interactions have you had? How, how have they helped you in, in your career path? Um, how, how have they been overall? Well, the alumni, the alumni connections are everything. I wouldn't be in this master's degree program if it wasn't for the alumni connections. Um, I was debating going straight into work after I got my bachelor's degree, but I had this thing in the back of my mind that I wanted to kind of do a master's and I reached out to you know, a friend who graduated in the same program that I'm in right now. And I asked him about how, like, what is the program? Like, do you think it's beneficial? Well, like he gave me all the good things, all the positives and, you know, helped me to choose the fact, the road of going to the master's degree. Not only that, but I've been able to connect with so many other alumni. Um, I, through the soccer coach at St. John's, I met a guy who works in the U.S. Embassy in Costa Rica. And I've met in, through my classes that have, Good guys have graduated the teachers they've been they worked for the fbi had some people the secret service and they they give all information that is useful for when it comes to that decision of what i want to do in my right future. right and i think that's one of the great things about st john's is how strong the alumni network is and how it helps students like me and you figure not only figure out what we want to do in life but also figure out how to get to where we want to do um one of the things you mentioned a little earlier was that uh, part of the reason that you came to St. John's was because you were awarded a scholarship. Um, can you just talk a little bit about what that scholarship meant to you and what it meant to your first four years at St. John's? I mean, a scholarship helps so much. It takes a little bit of a burden off you. You know, you have all these financial burdens and all student aid and a scholarship helps with that. And again, with my master's degree, if I wouldn't have gotten a scholarship for the undergrad, I might not have had the funds to for the master's degree program. But not only that, but because of scholarship, you get to go to St. John's, you get to see all whatever new, I'm from the West Coast. So I see the East Coast. I learn all the different things all because I was able to come to school because not only am I paying, but the school is also grateful enough to give me the money. Right. So. And I, I mean, I was, I was in the same boat you were four years ago. Um, one of the reasons I came to St. John's was because of the, the scholarship I was awarded. And had I not received that scholarship, I don't know if I would have been able to have the experience that I was lucky enough to have and I'm still able to have. So I completely understand where you're coming from and I'm sure so many other students can relate to what you're saying. So on that note, I just wanted to thank Matthew Roydy for being our student donor appreciation uh, student of the week. Um, and I look forward to seeing you soon, hopefully outside of this screen. Yep, hopefully. Have a good one. All right.